Welcome everybody. Welcome to the 10th year anniversary show here at WJL Wells Studios and of course it's Maryland's Cafe Society. 10 years it's been. Yeah, I'm a little flustered. <laughs> we have uh, um, a lot going on here, but we're going to try to uh, get through this show. How's everybody else doing? There we have it, everybody. It's the 10th anniversary show. That means we've been on the air for 10 years now. And of course, uh, this is uh, just an acknowledgement of those 10 years. It's been 10 good years for me. And so I'm so right. glad to have you guys in the studio with me. Did you enjoy the refreshments that we had? Yes. Very good. Well, I do want to thank our Joliet Walmart for sponsoring the Listener Appreciation Reception. Um, and I'm glad that you guys enjoyed the refreshments. So I'm excited to have you in studio and listeners. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, it's just uh, warms my heart that you would be here. So um, in case you didn't notice it, uh, today's show is all about the listeners, our supporters from the past, me, of course. Oh. And the show. <laughs> Is that right, Deborah? That is right. Okay, well, Deborah's back. You guys may remember Deborah Myers from uh, February. She hung out with me. She's a representative of, of AFLAC, and she's back helping us kind of move the show along, as are some of the, my other listeners and supporters. So you're going to hear different voices throughout the show. We have a singer who's going to be. Uh, of course, uh, blessing us with her beautiful voice. We have representative from the very first radio station that I worked for in the studio, and that's WWHN Radio. And so we welcome her. Thank you so very much for being here, and so many others. But uh, uh, Deborah, go ahead and tell them what they're going to experience today. Well, right now, um, we are going to uh, take Marilyn and her supporters and our listeners uh, on a trip down memory lane and you will all get to meet or recall Marilyn the talker, educator and reader, Marilyn the activist, social concerns, environmental and pop political, Marilyn the feminist, Marilyn the health and fitness advocator, Marilyn the entertainer, Marilyn the fashionista, and Marilyn the woman, mother, daughter, family person, friend and giver. That's going to be our trip down memory lane, folks. All right. And the Cafe Talk this hour over the years. What do you remember most about Maryland's Cafe Society radio show? Call in. The number is 815-254-7300. City of Chicago uh, is buzzing about the 10th anniversary broadcast of Maryland's mm. Cafe Society oh, radio show. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The people of Will County are reflecting on the early days of Maryland's Cafe Society <laughs> Radio Show before live streaming on the internet and social media. It's also reported that some dignitaries, past guests, and other VIPs like the listeners will be stopping in and or calling in to wish Maryland a happy anniversary. And you can call, too. That number is 815-254-7300. Mm -hmm. All right, and so that's been a quick limited look at your weekend news, which is brought to you by our friends over at Home Cut Donuts. They're celebrating 49 years th this month in April. They're located at 815 West Jefferson Street in Joliet, and you can go there for fresh, off-the-rack donuts. It's uh, Joliet's uh, local cable television with my glasses on. Hi there. Hi there. And Julie, of course, uh, Julia Alexander, who uh, owns Todd Productions and has been uh, doing a fabulous job in the dance, local dance community here mm -hmm. with uh, young people. And then Diane Harris is here. Hey, Diane, come on up. How are you? Oh, good, Marilyn. I just wanted to stop by and say congratulations on your 10-year anniversary. I enjoyed listening to you, especially Saturday afternoon when I'm chilling from a 
real stressful week. And oh, when you thank come you. on, it just really lifts the spirit, especially with like good gospel music. Oh, so thank you. So we thank you very much for being in uh, the Joliet community, and hopefully we'll have a, a, a long uh, to new to the year. There you go. And of course, it, Diane knows, everybody knows that Diane is active in the community and has run for several offices. And so thank you, Diane. For stopping by we appreciate you oh no problem no problem and i know i can't sneak it in and i'm not going to sneak it in but i'm glad that i was here to say <laughs> congratulations to you for your 10 years Mary. all right dear. <laughs> thank you all, all right. right and then of course the joliet public library has a representative here um he of course is keith folk and he runs that digital media studio down at the joliet public library welcome back you're a uh, 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 second time here in six months just yes about. i am and <laughs> congratulations 10 years wow mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, i just wanted to say uh, again congratulations and uh, hope to uh, you have 10 more uh, marilyn's been a big supporter of the digital media studio downtown joliet and uh, some people here have just said it's the best kept secret of Joliet, and it yes, is. It is. Uh, it really is. Please come down. Uh, you can record music, uh, shoot video, uh, edit video, do graphic design. We have 3D printers now. And uh, please come down. Uh, this is Keith. Uh, you can get to meet me, Benjamin, and Rosie. And please challenge us. And please uh, stop by when you're at the downtown Joliet Public Library. All right, Keith, thank you. Thank you for being here. Of course, keep it to the, the listener and supporter appreciation reception, too. And his family is here, too. So, all right. Hey. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Well, Deborah, of course, is here. She's back. She, uh, you know, is that businesswoman that we spotlighted back in February. She's kind of helping us move things along here today. Marilyn is so many things. Um, we talked about earlier um, all the things that Marilyn is, but now we're going to meet Marilyn, the talker, the educator, and the reader. And currently, right now, I'm going to give you a brief description of Marilyn's background. Marilyn May is a graduate of Roosevelt University. She began working in the entertainment and communications in the early 1990s. There, where she um, started in Chicago, a suburban radio station called WWHN. That's 1510 AM. As an entrepreneur and DJ, simultaneously, she began handling the publicity for the Miss National Senior Citizens Pageant that was founded in the late 1980s here in Joliet, Illinois. Well, in the spring of 2005, uh, Miss May returned to radio to host and produce Maryland's Cafe Society radio show, which currently airs every Saturday from noon until 2 Central Standard Time on 1340 AM WJOL Radio in Joliet, Illinois, and now online at www.jol.com. Marilyn previously worked there in the early 1990s as an announcer and a DJ. Marilyn's Cafe Society Radio Show is a two-hour talk show that focuses on current, international, national, and local political affairs, human interest topics, and the world of entertainment. Ms. May's purpose is to ultimately affect positive change and political empowerment with just a splash of entertainment into the lives of each listener. Our previous guests on Maryland Show included, check this out, jazz legend Ramsey Lewis. How about that? Gospel right. singer C.C. Winans, comedian Jack Tom Dressen, classic folk violinist is Rachel Barton Pye. Janet Davies of ABC7 Chicago, Liz Withers Mendez, other words, Sher Avery, The Color Purple on Broadway, key national, state, and local political leaders, the national leading, C leading CEO and others, not to mention President Barack Obama. After that time, he was the United States Senator. Also, as an independent contractor in public relations and special event marketing, Mrs. May worked for Joliet, Chicago, area businesses and individuals. Such work included securing sponsorship for event and print advertisement for event publications. Additionally, additionally, Maryland services offered included developing and implementing strategic public and media relation plans to create client product visibility, which encompassed responding to and handling media inquiries, 
coordinate community relations initiative, representing clients to key media interviews, assisting with design of promotional material, and contributing to the planning, managing, and implementing of special events. This work afforded her the opportunity to work behind the scenes with Chicago's and country's leading media professionals, as well as popular entertainers, musicians, and personalities. Mellon's work also became the perfect segue back in broadcast broadcasting. Mrs. May's message to all who are reaching for the stars. Also, um, back in um, 2008, um, uh, Marilyn also um, partnered with Jolie Chamber of Commerce, where she um, also was a part of the Women's Corp. Um, she's also been very active with the Joliet Hookup um, Women, and also Chris White from WCCCC. So that's a little history about her experience, folks. And I say over 10 years, that's pretty impressive. Wow. How about you guys give her a hand? <laughs> yes. Well, I, I have to clean up a, a few things with the, with the uh, Hookup Women. I pretty much uh, uh, um, provided the platform for them to get the word out about their various uh, okay. Okay. Uh, projects. That was back in the early days. And um, with the uh, uh, Working Women's Council with the Chamber, um, that was in 2012, 2013, okay. that we worked together with one of their big um, uh, fundraisers that they had combined, uh, in conjunction with the Pink Hills. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I see I, that I, pink I, heels. What was that about? It's a cancer, um, oh, yeah, research uh, fundraiser okay. that they were doing. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. All righty. And so, um, yeah, just to kind of uh, clarify some things and maybe uh, speak about some things that people don't know. And I said already that my first radio experience was with WWHN Radio. And... Uh, um, after being there for a year, I was uh, told by a couple different people to uh, connect with Tony Ray at WJOL. Back then, he was the program director. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Um, he put me on the air, and so awesome. I, uh, you know, started with them and stayed with WJOL for about two years. And then there was a gap there where I got into some public relations and special events, and um, you know, did other other work as well. But I came back to the Joliet community in 2004 and immediately made contact with Scott Slocum, who is now program director of WJOL, and uh, told him I was interested in getting back on the radio. And about a year later, in 05, he told me he had a Saturday spot open. Um, we're not music, because back in the day, we played music right. at WJOL. And he said you were a DJ, too. Oh a my DJ, God. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so he was like, can you talk for two hours, Marilyn? Of course you can. <laughs> can't you guys? <go? laughs> you know, no traffic, no news support, no, just wow. all you. Can you do that? And I was like, I'm going to give it a try. And so here we are, uh, ten years later. Now, mind you, my, my, my day job was uh, working in education as a substitute, what they call a permanent substitute teacher. Okay. For the whole entire school year, I reported to the same school, worked with the same children, the same teachers, and so I was I was a teacher, and um, and so you know uh, being around teachers and and sort of being uh, indoctrinated in that education environment, of course, it spilled over into what I do here on the radio, um, and so I've just been you know trying to uh, share information, break down information, of course, uh, report the news and other things for the past 10 years. Now, back in 2006, as um, an educator of sorts, I incorporated the positive series into the show. And I don't know if anybody in, in the room was listening back then, but the positive series was sort of like a spinoff from this a uh, positive parenting workshop that I had started in Chicago when I lived in Chicago. And every, every month I would do this positive parenting workshop to, um, you know, educate and form and just share experiences with other parents so that we could all become better parents. Um, I've incorporated it into the show and so, you know, each week I would do, share some kind of important information to help us all become positive people. As a matter of fact, 
a year later, I met the pastor over at Crossroads Christian Church um, through one of my listeners who opened up his cafe part of the church and said that I could come there every month and do the workshops. And so awesome. I, yeah, so I was doing it on the radio. So, Marilyn, and then, let me say, to say you're pretty famous, huh? Oh, my gosh. I, I wouldn't say all that. <laughs> you in the Joe Wood area. I mean, you've done a lot, mm -hmm. and um, you have some great accomplishments. So, mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty nice. Just yeah. And then, you know, reading, we all were encouraged to read. For some reason, the girls catch, up, catch on to the reading more than the boys do in school. And so I've always been an avid reader. And um, uh, eventually it spills into to what you do if you host a radio show. And so, uh, as Deborah said, I've had uh, some, some great authors on the show as a result of that reading. Um, Dr. Randell Pinkett, who was uh, one of the contestants on Celebrity uh, well, it was just The Apprentice back then. It wasn't Celebrity, celebrity Apprentice. Okay. Yeah, and uh, uh, Dr. Well, Attorney Jeffrey Levin, some of you guys may have heard of him from out of Chicago, mm -hmm. uh, Catherine Lanigan, and Terry Williams, the big publicist, and um, all things to everybody out of New York City. And so, um, and, and there are just so many more, but it just, it just makes sense, you know, to uh, share who you are and the things that you like with your listeners and so that's why I started doing that and then um, I even kind of started doing uh, sh reading short stories on occasion and dramatic readings on occasion during the show and I think Deborah you experienced that with me back in February when I, did, did I did I did give me the opportunity uh, for Black to come History on Month. yes and introduce yeah. what I was doing as a um, black woman um, in the business world and Marilyn um, offered me that opportunity and um, I appreciate that and that's that's basically who she is folks she is that type of person um, and so we just again want to say thank you for 10 years for giving us 10 years oh, wow. Like I said, it's an awesome accomplishment, really. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. And again, I appreciate, appreciate you guys for being here. Um, I don't know where we are with time anymore because we started at we such a, a, good time a weird time mm -hmm. in the clock. Um, but we are expecting another person to call in. And I think we have a cafe talk out there, right? Um, what was it? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, we do. We do. Yeah. Uh, over the years, what do you remember most about Maryland's Cafe Society radio show? For for our listeners, our longtime listeners out there. Hi, what? Well, uh oh. Yeah, whoever that was had their radio on. Whoever you are, you gotta turn your radio down and off. Okay. Turn it down or off because otherwise we'll get that feedback. 815-254-7300 um, is the number. 815-254-7300 if you want to call in and say uh, congratulations or happy Easter, Resurrection Sunday, whatever it is. Give us a call here at 815-254-7300. Remember to keep your radios turned down. Otherwise we'll get that nasty feedback like we just heard here. All right, so um, we're holding up, everybody. We are. Yes, yes. Yes. We're excited. We're okay. so excited. Right? Very good. And we still have some people over in the um, uh, reception room who are enjoying some of the refreshments. And, uh, yeah, so thank you again. I don't know what else to say. I, I, I really kind of just got stunned with this um, Certificate of Recognition from the Illinois House of Representatives. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. Our, our state rep, Larry Walsh, came in and just offered his congratulations um, to Marilyn, and that was that was actually nice of him to take time out of his Saturday uh, to do that, you know, considering um, they're in session and um, he's back and forth to Springfield. So um, actually, which is uh, my boss, by the way, um, but yes, he hi. would not um, pass up this opportunity of uh, congratulating Marilyn oh, for her thank um, you. Can years. you turn so your radio down? We appreciate that it. way we will have well. the feedback. Again, over you the years, um, mm -hmm. we want the Cafe Talk. Over the years, what do you remember most about Marilyn's Cafe Radio Show? You can call in. Again, the number is 815-254-7300. Call in and tell us what you remember about Marilyn. 
Again, 815-254-7300. And again, people, I, I was just trying to pick up a call there. Uh, some of you are calling with your radios up, and when you do that, and it's so close, uh, you know, to your phone, it puts a lot of feedback in the phone. I could hear it in the phone, so I know if I put it over the air, it's going to um, happen over the air, too. So turn your radios down or off when you call us. All right, we'll take another quick break, and when we come back, we will, uh, let's see. I think we're going to have uh, a caller call in, and then we're going to continue with our trip down memory lane. Yes. All I'm right. excited. Stand by, everybody. We're back, everybody. Maryland's Cafe Society Radio Show 240. Again, we don't know where we are in the program because ah. the times are so off, but it's still all good. We're having a good time, right, everybody? Yes. Everybody, yes. A shout out to our people in the reception area. I know you're listening. How are you? And of course, all of our listeners. In fact, we have one of our listeners on right now who has called back. Let's get him on. Hi there. Who's this? Ah, you're kidding me. All this Thank time. you, Mr. Evans. <laughs> I had no idea. I had no idea. There you go. Thank you. How's 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 Mama Geneva doing? <clears throat> there ah, you go. Kudos, there you kudos, go. Kudos. And you, and you know she holds she holds the distinction of being the second guest on my very first broadcast. So you make sure she knows that. and let us know what you remember about Maryland. Um, and we would definitely be excited to take your phone call over the years. What do you remember about Maryland's Cafe Society radio show? Call in at 815-254-7300. All right, and up next we have Keith. Keith, what's going on? Uh, uh, now let's meet Maryland, the activist, humanitarian, philanthropist. Maryland talks about the social concerns environmental and political of the Joliet area. She is the true voice of Joliet at WJOL. Here's Yay. Marilyn. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm floored. I'm floored with all of that. And of course, you're just referencing like Dale did, and, and Debbie spoke about it earlier, and just a, a reminder to people. Uh, remember the coal ash show? We did several of them. This is going back to um, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012. We had all the environmentalists from the, the uh, Joliet community on um, Ellen uh, uh, Rendulich and uh, Jan Gehrig and mm and uh, even the Sierra Club of Chicago and um, I think on the national level and the concern was the um, admissions coming from some of the um, uh, utility companies in the area and they were linking it to a lot of illnesses that people were getting and so uh, when no one else would we here at the Cafe Society would open up um, the mics and let people get their message and their word out. Um, we also Boy, we, we had uh, political, as we talked about mm -hmm. earlier, political mm -hmm. uh, debates and, and uh, com uh, commentators on the show. Um, I was even asked once to go to Lewis University um, to be a political commentary on a panel back when Sarah Palin and Barack Obama, uh, what was it, 2008, when the, 2007, 2008, when the uh, Didn't know that, see, I told you big, you big election was going on, yeah. Um, boy, remember when they protest uh, the union, the unions, the, all this union busting started uh, coming about. I think that was back in 2010, 2009, when they were trying to bust the unions and the teachers and the mm. firefighters and everybody hit the streets literally mm. um, to fight that thing. And I wonder I, was that now. Remember? <clears throat> that's what I just said. I think it was 2009, 2010, mm. 2011, um, and I was there to 
to report and ended up joining in on, on the protest. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it was. It, 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 we've we've covered so much. I, as I shared with with Debbie, I, I spent some time in the last month or so, just kind of perusing through some of the files and notes and mm -hmm. and even tapes. Yeah, back in the early days, we Did recorded. You get emotional? We recorded our shows um, via the tape, and uh, of course, we're we're up to date now. We're back. We're in the millennium with uh, being able to record on the computer, but. Yeah, just listening to some of the segments that we put together uh, about political issues, uh, uh, community issues here locally in Joliet. Uh, you talked about the, the hookup ladies. Again, yes. this was a platform for them in the early days to kind of get the word out about some of the things that they were tackling, um, as well as the um, Unity CEC and, and okay. other you know community organizations here in the Joliet community. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. And Marilyn, you've done great things over the years and I just hope to so that you would take the next ten years and just make the last ten years springboard and just go higher. And every time I think that I've covered it all and talked about it never. all and it, it just as Dale was saying there earlier, it's it's just continual. There's always um, a message to get out, something new to report, something different to explore. So it, it never ends, and I enjoy it. I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it. I was sharing with um, one of the newspapers who came in earlier to interview me that um, some, you know, you start out as uh, a talk show host who's pretty much reporting the news and um, maybe commenting on the news okay. and interviewing people. And that's somewhere along the way when you've been doing this for like 10 years, um, your your talk show and you kind of uh, you mesh and yeah. you become one and so who you are becomes part of of the show and so uh, I'm just I'm just grateful and, and and humbled by by all of this although you know I told Deborah I said you know sometimes we got to toot our own horn <laughs> but as long as you have some folks tooting with you it's, it's quite all right of course we have with us in studio None other than Trista, Trista Graves Brown, who of course has been with the show before, and uh, uh, we know each other from from high school and and all of that stuff. And Trista is a recording artist, and and so much more. She's working on uh, something that's going to be launching in August. We'll just tease it and leave it at that. But she's here to help us celebrate the ten years on the radio, and uh, she has put together. Uh, or actually she's going to debut and share uh, one of her uh, latest recordings. Um, here I'm honored. Yes. Always first on your show. Uh, always <laughs> Always. First. Butterfly was first on your show and now I just wanted to announce on your show that I don't know if you remember Sister Sledge but they heard my song and they're going to produce that song on her gospel album and it was first in 2011 Woo! on January of your show. So today again is just another debut for the 10th anniversary of your of your anniversary today. All right, Trista. Well, we're gonna get your music go. Uh oh, we're gonna get your music going and get you started. You know, we want to thank everybody for coming in today. This song, it says we're about a celebration. So I know you heard it from Ingvo talk about hold on, but we're going to hold on to God's love today. Can I say hold on? Hold on. Oh, I was so lonely. I couldn't find my way. Jesus came along, showed me a brighter day. He took away all my doubts. Wash away all my sins And now I found joy And new life within Hallelujah He abides Hallelujah He abides in me Hallelujah He abides Hallelujah He abides Hallelujah. He abides. Lowering us with her beautiful voice and that wonderful song that she put together. And, of course, uh, it debuted here. How about that? How about First that? heard here. 
Amazing, amazing. And did she say Sister Sledge is going to be uh, producing that song, Butterflies, that she... That's what she said. Did you ever hear that song? Have you heard it? No. Okay, she has. Every Butterflies I've heard was the Michael Jackson version. Okay, she I has... I don't know yet. Yeah, she has her own... Uh, it's not even a rendition of Michael Jackson. It's uh, it's her own her own song that that she did. I'll try to find it. Uh. You know, sometimes when you're feeling down and out, and you feel just like you don't know what to do, I want you to take the time to open up your wings and look at yourself and see how beautiful you can be, just like a butterfly. Maybe I should have a, a karaoke moment with this one. <laughs> awesome, that awesome, awesome. about awesome. your perception. Hey! <laughs> Let's talk about change over the years, over the past 10 years. Uh, Marilyn's sharing with us her theme songs or her radio songs. So, this is a good one. Because that's how This is a good one. You don't have to pay the last. She's singing. God it's her party. She can sing if she wants to. <laughs> well, I have to say that being in the studio with you the last couple of times, you've been entertaining me. So um, it comes natural to her, guys. And um, she is quite the entertainer. But singer, I would have never thought. I'm trying to get her to sing something, but she's not. She's not catching that. But. <clears throat> Thank you, Marilyn. Well, you know, I look, I'm going to make all these excuses. If I do sing, do have a karaoke moment right here, and it doesn't quite sound right, I'm giving you all the excuses in advance. I told you already. <laughs> am um, I putting you on the spot? <laughs> Thursday night, I was up to 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and I, I woke up this morning sniffling in my throat. Okay, guys. We'll just make it. We'll just make it. We'll just make you know, just in case it doesn't sound right. So here, we're going to do this one. Okay, here she goes, guys. I believe the children are future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride to make it easier. Not the children's laughter. This is Marilyn, guys. Remind us how we used to be. Everybody searching okay, for a hero. <laughs> People need someone to look up to. I've never found anyone who fulfills my needs. A lonely place to be. And so I learned to depend. Me. I decided long ago never to walk in anyone's shadow. <laughs> if I fail, if I succeed, at least I lived as I believe. No matter what you take from me, you can't take away my dignity. Because the greatest love of all. It's happening to me. I found the greatest love on the side of me. The greatest love of all is easy to achieve. It is the greatest 